Hi, this is uh, Jacques showing off uh, McClue Linux Cinnamon Edition Beta 7. Now, this is going to be a very short clip. I'm just going to cover what we've changed since the last video. Um, if you look on the desktop, you'll pretty much see that we've uh, made a few changes to the bottom panel. You now have these uh, spaces, which are actually indicators, you know, to sort of... Uh, cordon off an area. For example, the two menus are in their own little workspace. You've got your shortcuts on the left in their own workspace. Then you've got the long as taskbar in its own workspace. You've got notifications in its separate workspace. And then you've got the task manager, little these little things over here with a clock in their own workspace as well. So it just sort of neatens up the, the uh, bottom panel. We've also done a lot of speed improvements. You'll notice uh, I'm in live mode at the moment, so which is actually meant to run slower, but uh, the speed is actually very, very fast. It's very nice. Um, <clears throat> wobbly windows is something else that I've fixed now. So now, wobbly windows can be used inside VirtualBox because I'm in VirtualBox. Don't know if you remember the first video, it was like tearing across the screen, it was so slow and so pathetic. I've uh, fixed that. Wobbly Windows is now fully usable inside VirtualBox. And if it's this good on artificial hardware, uh, you can imagine what it will be like on actual hardware. So there you go. Wobbly Windows, fully functional. I'm sure that will make quite a few people happy that like an eye candy. Uh, we've also switched from Firefox to Chrome. Had a couple of issues with uh, Firefox, so I installed Chrome instead. Um, yeah, so that's Chrome, obviously. Enabled a couple of speed dials, a couple of extensions. I'm not going to go into great detail about that. Um, I fixed the network. The network issues we're having fixed. They it actually says Ethernet network connected, one wire connections active. So that's one of the last big bugs we had. That is fixed. That's squashed. So that's nice. Uh, windows now have previews. So if you actually open a window, it will actually show a little preview on top of it. In fact, you can open multiple windows and then switch between them. There's home, there's downloads, there's home, there's downloads. Do you see it switching? And of course, you can actually close it straight from the preview. So, as well as the group, the icons group. So, we can open up two items and swap between them. And you get a live feed of what's actually going on. So, that's nice. So, window previews are enabled. Another thing we've enabled is tooltips. I don't know how much of this was actually in the last edition. I don't think on the video I made any of this was uh, actually working at the time. But anyway, uh, we've enabled tooltips so users can now just sort of hover over a folder or a file and uh, actually get the information of that file. So that's very nice. Um, tells you when it was last accessed, when modified, and the name, the type the location, the size, all of that info, that's quite nice. And for the user that was going on about the weather, there we go. It's actually set to Port Elizabeth where I stay. Um, I set the transparency, transparency max and left the border out so it actually looks like it's part of the desktop, which is nice. So of course you can add more extensions and so forth, so that's fully operational. I think that basically covers major changes, or at least the visible ones. I mean, there's always a lot of bug fixing and things in the background that, that I won't go into because you won't know that it was there, now it's not, or whatever. Um, but visibly, um, definitely a lot of uh, increase in performance speed-wise. Um, some changes to the theme, um, as well as the theme board, I think, was differently last time as well. Um, wobbly windows fully working now as you can see inside VirtualBox um, and I'm not even sharing that much I think I've got 64 megs of RAM yeah, it could be a Cinnamon 128 but I think it's a 64 uh, graphics RAM and of course uh, I do use 2 gigs of uh, 
RAM for the virtual machine. Uh, I'm not sure if it's set to one or two at the moment. I think it's set to two. But anyway, um, it doesn't matter. Wobbly Windows works inside VirtualBox. I'm happy. And that was that was one of the items that was kind of bugging me for a while because I knew a lot of the guys that do reviews. You know, they uh, they tend to use VirtualBox a lot, and I knew they were going to hammer on that. You know, oh, this isn't running so nicely. Blah blah blah. So I wanted to make sure that that was running well. Anyway, um, it's not as as perfect as uh, the um, the compass version of of Wobbly Windows, but it's it's a second, it's a close second, you know. I mean, I noticed um, this Wobbly Windows, obviously made by a third party person. When you stop, it actually stops for a second, and then there we go, and sort of resets the window. You know, it's it's not a smooth, exact smooth transition the way Compass is, but um, you know, it's close enough. It's better than nothing. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, it's the operating system itself is running so well. Um, in fact, you know, I had one guy um, on the tester team report a couple of bugs, and mostly it was just installation issues. Um, and then one item on one of the plugins on. Um, web browser that was causing trouble I've removed that plugin since then um, but apart from that the actual OS itself I don't think anybody's reported any bugs uh, for geez quite a while now uh, nothing major anyway so we are so 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 close to release but anyway I just wanted to update the users uh, this will be coming your way very very soon um, I just want to do maybe a week or two of testing still um, just to make sure that there's no bugs and then this will be available for the world to use and uh, uh, I know the project hasn't been active for a while so this will be a nice big comeback for Makulu Linux uh, hopefully in a big big way anyway uh, I shall speak to you guys soon